Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be covering how to format your build.gradle file, which is something that we should have done at the start but we haven't yet. So let's begin. We can start by deleting this comment and up here we can format this. So you can see in the group over here we have com.cy4.tutorialmod, so let's change that. And our mod ID is also tutorial mod, and our version of the mod is 1.0. Next we can remove this comment over here, and we can remove these comments here. Now this is where you set your mappings. The Mojang mappings will be in the official channel, and the MCP mappings will be in the snapshot channel. I'm using MCP mappings, but the newer versions of Forge have switched to Mojang maps. Over here we can remove all the scan registries and registry dump stuff, and we can change this example mod to our tutorial mod. In server we can do the same thing, and also change example mod to tutorial mod, and data we can remove this, remove these comments, we can keep the arguments, and also change this example mod to a tutorial mod. For the included resources, we can remove this. Dependencies, this is where we're going to put any of our dependencies. For now, we can leave it as just Minecraft and delete all of these comments. We can also remove this comment, and here is where we put our titles. So let's put this to our example mod. This is the vendor, so I'm just going to put this to CY4. The implementation is also CY4, and that's going to change the name of our jar, and we are on version 1. So we can remove this and leave everything else. And that is our build.gradle formatted. Whenever we change anything to the build.gradle, we either can rerun gradle commands, or right-click on our project and go to Gradle Refresh Gradle Project. We want to make sure we're on the Gradle operations and not run client. So let's just leave this here while it completes. And we should see configure successful. Then it's going to build and then it's going to complete. And now you can see we have no errors, which means we've done everything correctly. In the next episode, I'm going to be covering dependencies. And we just needed to prepare this build.gradle file for the next episode. I'll see you next time.